What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some huge news today on Sunday, 9-10-23. Uh, yeah, we got some big stuff because we have Star Exhibition coming up very, very soon here. And it looks like, well, DH Games is invested in keeping Star Expedition being the go-to for a lot of you guys on Reddit, Discord, even here on YouTube. This is a lot of your guys' favorite game mode, and guess what? It's getting better. Not only are they future-proofing this, making a newer difficulty, yes, if you and if, if and when you beat the first boss, a difficulty called difficult so there's normal and difficult coming out uh is coming there's new power-ups there's new buffs there's a lot of things that unlock in this new difficult game mode so let's go over the data mine that we have we have some information we have a little bit of changes on the boss we have a bunch of things like that so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's jump right into it <laughs> So let's start off with some icons and image files we have from this uh, data mine that we have. It looks like the first thing that we see here is this is going to be the icon for the normal difficulty. This is going to be the icon for unlocking the difficult difficulty. Now, there's a little bit of a question here based on how it's kind of written in the coding and everything. We don't know necessarily if you have to beat the old void boss, like, you know, the big abyss of catastrophe, or if it's just meaning you need to clear all the islands, because you see here, there's two different difficulties. And in the files, there's new image files that have this blue glow around them. These are still the same exact uh, islands that we've basically been beating already. Uh, it's just now with a blue aura around them. So we're thinking what it needs to happen is there's a couple things that need to be cleared in order to unlock this difficult game mode. Uh, so it seems like to get through these guys or get them unlocked, there's a couple things you need to get done. Uh, number one is it says after winning all battles in a zone and killing the Lord of the Void in that zone, uh, you'll be awarded a perfect passage, which allows you to unlock a new mode. Now, I don't know if that means when they say Lord of the Raid, if they meet or Lord of the Void, if it means, you know how each one of these islands has a boss at the end of them, like every single one of them does that you have to beat that unlocks the next one. Don't know if that means number one, that we have to kill every node as a perfect passage, or if it just means clearing the zone, will get that unlocked for you. Because it also says, um, as far as star imprints now, you're just gonna automatically have star imprints put into your nodes. You can set up presets and preferences for them to put like cause or osis in there for you, but it's gonna start automatically allocating them as you acquire them. So you don't have to like, if you need the power, you don't have to jump out and do that. But it does seem like moving to a new area will stop all ongoing clearing and the progress in the challenge will be reset. Um, moving to new zones or changing the difficulty will stop the clearing and progress. Uh, they've added the word raid to the descriptions as well. So this is really, really confusing as far as how these things unlock. But we do know there is a new boss for this difficulty mode as well. You'll notice he looks a little bit different. The one that you normally see is mostly pink and purple. This one has a lot of blue hues and yellow, especially highlighted on them, which is interesting uh, because they get more skills. They have a new normal attack, which I think kind of translates to Abyss Whip. There is a new active skill called Impending Roar. There's a passive skill called Decom uh, Decomposing Touch and a new passive skill, Void of Invasion. There are, of course, new images for the tentacles as well, which is interesting. Uh, so we're gonna have to see how that plays out. And there's a couple of things that I thought were of note. So, uh, the bosses like tentacles and stuff have some abilities that are a little annoying They do target ones that hit like they go for like the lowest HP targets. They put bleeds on them uh, There's another one that says a uh, curse of decay on them Which says triggers when the enemy receives a buff once triggered each layer of curse of decay absorbs one attribute So it's essentially the four four C's account or four C's it's the Forces ability, which is just really, really annoying. Uh, and they do put a ton of bleed with a chance to fear and silence. Uh, there's also a couple things that kind of make me worry. There's a normal attack that deals damage to the enemy with the highest HP, which might actually be your main dam damage dealer with a 50% chance to stun that target, then deals additional damage to the two enemies with the highest attack. 
and can petrify them for two rounds. So not only do we have silence and we have, um, <laughs> it's crazy, not only silence and fear horrify effect, uh, we're also getting stun and petrify that we now have to worry about as well. Uh, really interesting. This seems like it's going to really ramp up the overall difficulty. So you're going to have to focus more on the overall power of your team, which is, you know, the destiny transition of your entire account kind of needed. And that's kind of what is happening with the boss getting much more difficult. We'll have to see. Now, there are two new icons here as well, because we have two new rune buffs, three star runes, not four star, the four star are those special ones. These are three star. Uh, now, I don't know which one is called which. I don't necessarily know if they showed it to me in the files. Let me see. Uh, no, they don't actually have a name tag to them. They're just one is icon 11. The other one is icon 12. So one of these two is going to be called passion at the beginning of each battle applies three charges of motivation after each use by the target of an active skill. Or, no, let me, let me get you a better translation. Cause this is, this is kind of janky here. <laughs> it's, it's a little confusing how it's actually worded, but I'm going to, I'm going to start with this. So this one we're going to call passion at the beginning of each battle grants three layers of motivation after the target releases an active skill each time reduces one layer of that motivation motivation increases your holy damage by 70 percent crit damage by 50 percent and speed by 100 um i mean that one kind of sounds good like if you want to stack holy damage potentially with you know because it doesn't have a round limit so long as you're not using active skills maybe that's something you use with natalia i don't know and then the other one here we'll just go to the other icon it's called obsession when an ally's hp is below 30 percent for the first time each battle you gain uh the enabling unbending will and restores hp by 100 percent and increases attack by 50 percent for six rounds which is interesting there also sounds like there is some sort of potentially new guild tech for Star Expedition, although we can't really find a ton of information on that either. Uh, and there are two more power-ups. I don't have any icons for that just yet. Uh, we have some weird like special art and everything, but there's two new power-ups for when you beat zones. One of them is Gust of Stars. This is in the difficult mode only. Uh, a raging storm rushes furiously towards the enemy each time allies use active skills. The damage dealt by all allies increases by 3% until the end of battle. That's really good with our current strategy. The other one is called Eternity of Mountains. Again, only for the difficult difficulty mode. The mountain elves have sent down their blessings. When an ally's HP drops below 50% for the first time in battle, it restores your HP to 100% maximum, and at the beginning of the battle, it reduces all damage received by 50% and increases holy damage by 10. Each turn, the first effect is reduced by 10%, and the second effect is reduced by uh, 10% as well. A couple little just random icons here, which is interesting. Uh, so yeah, that's those things. And then you'll notice this button here. It looks like they have added a smash functionality. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, this, this interesting because this right here means the normal mode. You can just smash from now on potentially if you don't care about doing this game mode. So a lot of good things for people who love going deep diving into this game mode, a smash function for everybody else. And we'll just have to see how this actually plays out. So... Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. See you guys next time with more info, hopefully.